have this pulled up here. All righty. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. All right, Sean. Well, I appreciate you jumping on. I know we just wanted to do a quick run through of Nectar and wanted to have you on board as well as a current client using the tool for about a year now, right? And uh, so really, I mean, Nectar, what it does best is it's a social connectivity tool for your employees. It's going to make it really easy for employees to be able to recognize each other. You can do it peer to peer. You can do it manager top down. But the idea really fundamentally behind Nectar is when you give autonomy and you make the process really simple for people to recognize each other, the frequency of recognition goes up dramatically and it really has uh, a great impact on the organization as a whole. So Sean, I'd love to just get your perspective on kind of what you did before you started using Nectar and kind of how you use it now and how it's helped out. Sure, yeah, and thanks for having me. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm a partner and owner at Diversified Insurance Group out of Salt Lake City, and we have been using Nectar for about um, 13 months, maybe a year and a half, somewhere right in there. Uh, prior to that, we had um, a really, really manual system of both recognition uh, from peer to peer, as well as uh, management and ownership to uh, team members. Uh, so in terms of peer to peer, we had what we affectionately called the kitty litter, which is a box that just sat uh, on a counter and people had um, uh, the ability to put comments in there about uh, something that somebody else had done to help them or that they'd recognized that they'd done great or whatever. Um, but it was a very manual process. And then we read those in staff meeting. Um, and, and then in terms of birthdays and anniversaries and, and other, other things like, um, you know, management um, recognition to team members, that was all done manually as well. Um, and so we moved to Nectar about a year and a half ago, like I said, and it's really automated a lot of those things. But more importantly, what it's done is it's increased um, significantly our peer-to-peer -peer recognition process in terms of the uh, frequency, in terms of the, the deliberateness of those. So it's done a lot in terms of helping our team members communicate and recognize one another. So hopefully that answers absolutely. your question. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, it sounds like it kind of took the old process, ramped it up a little bit. Do you feel like the frequency of recognition has gone up? Yeah, for sure. Um, they were pretty good about using the system, but with the Nectar tool um, and the leaderboard system that's in there, uh, it allows for a little bit of healthy competition too. Uh, so in, in addition to it being purely a um, recognition tool, it, it also creates a bit of competition and we give we give all, all our team members a certain allocation every month. And so they have to, I guess, choose a little bit wisely how they're gonna allocate those so that they don't burn through them all on one individual or uh, one, one event. So they've gotten pretty good about finding ways to find opportunities to recognize uh, each other, but do it um, within their allocated points. So. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, I do wanna run through the tool here and as a business, you kind of have to make a fundamental decision as to who is going to get points inside of the system. Is it just managers? Is it uh, everyone's getting a slice of the pie, right? Obviously, we're huge advocates of giving kind of a tiny piece of the recognition budget to each person, but uh, the software is quite flexible. So you can see as I log in, I have really this point balance that's allotted to me on a monthly basis by the company. So you can see every, every 10 points is $1. So I essentially have about $40 as a manager to be able to reward my team. And it's really easy process, right? I choose a person, choose a number of points. I choose one of the company core values that I saw the person highlight. And I say, hey, th thanks for helping me out with that project. You're awesome. You can even add GIFs to make it more fun, right? This really helps the uh, social feed feel alive. Uh, but from a manager perspective, uh, it's, it's really unique because I get to get these insights to my team that I, I never could have had before. Right, I can see what percentage of my team I recognize. Right, we um, we're just starting the month of December, so I can see here. Oh crap, I've only recognized 12% of my team, and I even have timestamps to see. Okay, it's been 
a day since I recognized Gladys. It's been two months since I recognized Ernie. So having all this at my fingertips is, is great. And I even get my own little analytics dashboard to see all of my direct reports and really helps drive usage within the system. I can even see how connected individual team members are to others, right? With this, this web functionality, I can see how many shout outs inside of my team, outside of my team. So powerful stuff. Uh, and also you have kind of more of a top-down analytics approach as well. So you can see how many total shout outs have happened inside the entire company, which core values are people associating with their shout outs? Uh, what are the participation rates? So all great things to have, but now really making recognition social is the number one uh, purpose of, of Nectar. And so having everything appear into the social feed is a great way to be able to accomplish that. And really I go along collecting points, whether it be from a shout out from a manager, I get a shout out from uh, a peer, or to have a birthday or work anniversary, like you mentioned. Uh, and then I have my individual reward options so for you specifically, Sean, I mean, have you been able to choose a gift card? Have you seen your, your coworkers <laughs> choose gift cards if they like? Well, I've tried to give myself points and it stops me from doing that. But yeah, we, we've set it up similar. Yeah. We, we've given all of our team members 100 points a month, which um, we equate to about $10. And then we've given myself and some of the other managers and owners um, far more points. So we have a lot more points that we can give out. Um, and then the nice thing about it is, is that we can give those privately or we can give them publicly. Uh, generally, we try to make those um, public because it's all part of the sort of um, social aspect of the recognition tool. Uh, and I think it's a fun part about it, right? So that everybody can share in those and, and see what others people are doing. But it, it allows us some flexibility to also give private points if we want. Um, yeah, I don't have a ton of points. I, uh, uh, apparently, I don't I don't do a whole lot worthy of point <laughs> receiving, but I do I do do a lot of give uh, giving with points. So uh, I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> I'm sure you do plenty. You're overworked and underpaid. Welcome to the there club. You go. <laughs> um, but I think but yeah, I have so enough for one gift card right now. I'm just being a little bit choosy go. in what I redeem it for. There you go. There you go. Enjoy the holidays. Go go treat yourself <laughs> to something. Yeah. Now, but gift cards is one of the most popular options in a tool just because it's so flexible. Hundreds of options, right? People choose exactly what they find meaningful to them. You can also do custom rewards in the system, right? Let's say you wanted to subsidize somebody's gym membership with points, uh, offer an extra day of PTO if they save up enough points or contribute to your health savings account. Uh, you can adjust these however you need to. It's great to have flexibility. And if you already have some type of reward that's a part of your culture, Nectar can, can cater to it. One of my personal favorite award options is our swag component, where you can actually brand individual items with your logo. And uh, we have a partner that will ship these items on demand all over the US. So if I want this jacket today, right, I, I use my 430 points, I punch in my home address, and it gets shipped directly to my doorstep. Nectar, the company never even has to see it. So it's the absolute best way to offer swag to employees. And um, I feel like a lot of times companies don't want to add swag as a reward option because it feels like, hey, I have to buy 25 shirts so that the price is uh, reasonable. I have to figure out everybody's sizes. This dodges all of that headache. And it's even an online store as well. I, if I want to just use my credit card to go purchase a piece of Nectar swag, I absolutely can. So I appreciate the flexibility there. Uh, there's also this really fun section called challenges where you can basically gamify any type of behavior that you want to see from your employees, right? It, instead of just making a wellness challenge, it's, hey, when you walk 10,000 steps, you can earn 25 points from the company, right? Keep your employees healthy, help them do their trainings on time, right? Help them leave glass door reviews. This is one of my personal favorites, right? Increase your internet presence. So uh, just another fun way to engage employees into the system. You can also uh, see the leaderboard. Sean, you said you uh, you embrace the friendly competition. I wanted to give a disclaimer that you can remove the leaderboard if you want to, but wanted to get your opinion on kind of having the visibility as to who's who's performing and whatnot. Yeah, in fact, it's interesting because um, it it gives some. There's always those individuals that seem to you know rise to the top of the leaderboard every month, but uh, it's been interesting to watch um, some individuals 
see that and sort of note that. And not that they're trying to take anything away from those individuals that are superstars and getting a lot of kudos, but uh, they've seen people that have maybe been neglected or maybe their, their, their work efforts are maybe not quite as prominent or visible as others. And they've made an effort to elevate those people on the leaderboard as well. So while, while I joke that it's sort of competition, more than anything, it's sort of insight into helping to ensure that everybody's getting the recognition they, they deserve. So we definitely uh, like and appreciate the leaderboard and would never consider taking that away. Absolutely. Yeah, I, again, I, I harp on this a lot, but I, I, I love how Nectar does this. The visibility as to what percentage of your team has been recognized. If every single manager gets this number to 100%, every single person on the team will get at least one meaningful recognition per month. And then beyond that, everything is, is just gravy right? You get yeah. shout outs from the peers, but the managers, hey, make sure you recognize everyone at least one time and your, your culture will, will be better because of it. Yeah, for so sure. What, absolutely. Uh, I wanted to just show really quickly, Nectar is fairly unique. We have a discount platform that's built into the system. It doesn't work uh, under the point system, right? You don't have to save up points to be able to use this, but anytime I'm booking a hotel, uh, getting camping gear, right? Buying a Costco membership, I pop in here to see if I can save some money. Uh, and I like to look at it really as one big thank you to all of your employees, right? Because it's not, it, they can find value in it day one. And it's, it's not based on the points. So it's, hey, you're uh, a valued employee. Now go save at all of these individual places. So keep that in mind. I'm not sure if you've used that, Sean, but it's always a, a great add on uh, for most employees. They love using it. Yeah, we've had some employees comment that they've saved some real dollars there. So, yeah, nothing better than saving money on on a hotel. So hopefully, we can travel more here in the future and put that to better use. Um, I wanted to highlight just really quickly, right? A huge initiative for a lot of companies is automating birthdays and work anniversaries. And there's a really simple, easy way for Nectar to do it. Uh, we're gonna pull the the birthday of the employee, either through a manual upload of a spreadsheet, or we can pull this information from an HR system, just up to the client at the end of the day. But uh, do you know how much you give out for birthdays or work anniversaries, Sean? Uh, yeah, we give out um, $50 for uh, birthdays and just $10 for work anniversaries. But yeah, yeah, I can't stress enough how much this has helped me personally. Uh, you know, I was managing that for our 40 plus employees and taking care of getting them something of a gift card for their birthday. And I tried to be kind and allow them to get it where they wanted it. So managing, running around to stores, getting gift cards, and then also anniversaries too. So for, for me, this was a huge time saver being able to automate this process. And I did worry a little bit that it might remove um, some of the personal touch associated with going and getting the gift card. But um it hasn't diminished at all. In fact, the employees have appreciated it and it makes it something that's visible to the entire company. So everybody can see that when it posts uh, on their birthday and on their anniversary. So it's really a great right. feature. Right. It's not, not quite as personal as the handshake, but I mean, we're in 2020 pandemic time. So <laughs> the fact that it's being populated automatically to the social feed with points and people can like and comment is, yep. uh, is a big win right now. For sure. So one of the last things to mention, uh, I, I love to jump out in front of this because everyone asks, uh, we do have a way to prevent employees from gaming the system, right? Jumping in and sending their points to the same person over and over and over again. We call them our suspicion controls. So just bear in mind that, that those do exist, but that's really about 95% of it. Really the rest is the nuts and bolts. So, I mean, anything you want to add, Sean? Uh, I know we've talked a lot already, so. No, I think you've covered it pretty well. I mean, I, I can't stress how, how great the system is. Um, I wish I'd had it um, a long time ago, as opposed to just getting it a, a year and a half or so ago. So um, I, I thank you guys for the system and uh, making it available and, you know, continuing to improve it and continuing to make it more adaptable and flexible to meet uh, the various yeah. needs of your users. So. Absolutely. We always appreciate the feedback. Uh, I just want to take this last kind of minute to talk about the pricing. Uh, Nectar is fairly unique. We do a per active user model, uh, which means we are logging each month who's logging into the system. And you're essentially only paying for the employees that log in each month. So it's paying for usage. 
it aligns really well with a lot of uh, companies and how they like to buy software, right? They want to try it first, prove that it works. So just keep that in mind and uh, happy to, to go through, uh, schedule a more uh, tailored demo for anybody that, that's watching this, right? But uh, really the social feed, employees getting their allowance and uh, really recognizing on the social feed, that's, that's the vast majority of it. And Nectar is the easiest, simplest way to do that. And I just want to kind of leave as uh, just some information we do integrate with Slack and Microsoft Teams and HR systems and single sign-on. So happy to explore that further really at any point, but thanks to you, Sean. I, I appreciate all the feedback. You're a great client and uh, we'll go from there. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for, for uh, having me. No problem. All right, bye. Okay, bye.